Hello everyone. Welcome back to my another video. So today I would like to talk about the break-even strategy. Once I set the stop loss, where when I ex exactly set the break-even, I will talk about this topic today. So let's get started right now. So before starting, this information is basically based on my experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. And just one quick announcement is that uh, this live stream schedule has changed from last Sunday. It's becoming at 11 p.m. Japan time, and which is uh, 2 p.m. UTC time zone for these public lives. And membership lives, Ichimoku membership lives, will be followed by this public live. So make sure you come in with the correct time here. So today's topic is about the break-even line. And I am not really sure if you set the break even or not once you took a buy or sell, but break even line is the most important line for me. I mean, stop loss break evens are the most important for me to become a non losing trader. And ever since I came up with the idea of setting the break even with the correct strategy, logical strategy, my risk with the ratio became much, much more than. Um, when I didn't place the break-even line. So that's why I wanted to talk about this topic and also I get lots of comments and questions about where to set the break-even, when to set the break-even. I, uh, I get these messages um, on the emails and also the comments and that's why I, th I thought it's a good idea to talk about this uh, topic again. So let's get started. So here is AUDJPY and this is at uh, 9th of December chart. And right now we see the Kumo up, Kijun Sen up, and uh, Tenkan Sen up, and Chikou Span above the candles. Did you watch the video yesterday about Chikou Span? When you see Chikou Span above the candles, this is bullish momentum. And along with this Chikou Span, we see the Kumo here, uh, Senko Span B up, A up, and Kijun Sen is pointing up, it's above the Kumo which is a good indication for this breakout up or this way. So here I will look for the buy chance. And before doing that, I want to confirm this uptrend on the mid time frame. So let me switch it to one hour chart. So here's one hour chart and right now it retracing backwards. But still I expect the market go up this way. So, so um, right now in this one hour chart, the Kumo flat and the Kijun Sen flat still. Chikou span is above the candles, but because the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, I would wait until they go up this way. So let me forward the candles until that happens. So, um, alright, so here we see, now we see the Kumo is up, both the Senko span BA up, and Kijun Sen is up. And also, Chikou span is above the candles. So this is nice indication for this continuous uptrend. So just make sure that the daily chart is uptrending. And yes, it's uptrending. And also, one hour chart is uptrending. So this is exactly where I look at the lower time frames to look for the buy chance. So in this example, let me pick the five minute chart. And I will switch the indicators to Bollinger Bands and also the stochastics. So over here we see the uptrend and the market is going up right now. But um, in this case, let me go back a little bit more until uh, exactly when we saw the gold cross of stochastics. Just to explain purpose for this stop loss and break even strategy. So when I happen to see the market at this moment, I will take a buy. I take a buy because I see in this five minute chart, I see the stochastic gold cross as one of the confirmations. And also we see Bollinger Band, band walking as a second confirmation. And I want to see if this level is one of the Fibonacci levels. I will take the low here and high here because I wanted to capture this retracement bullish new wave. So if this is one of the Fibonacci lines, then I will take a buy here because this is going to be the third confirmation. 
So let me take the Fibonacci here tool and um, I will draw it on this in wave structure. So we see the market has been supported by the 50% level. The market has been supported by the 50% level and this is reversal line. The former resistance now becoming supports and the market is going up this way. So I can see that this is a strong uptrending and a very stable uptrend. And also one more confirmation is that uh, I can see that there is a outside breakout. Here is an inside bar and outside bar and it broke upwards and then the market is going up all the way this way. So we've got four confirmation to buy here. So once again, the stochastic gold cross as one of the confirmations. Band walking, the market is in between the division one, two, it's, it's called band walking and that's the second confirmation. And then I take the Fibonacci bounce, 50% as the third confirmation. And engulfing outside bar break is the fourth confirmation. So I try to look for as many confirmations as possible, but my rule is that um, I only take trades when I find at least three confirmations. Three confirmations or more, then I take a buy or sell. So in this case, I got the four confirmations so I'm willing to take a trade. If I can see the market real time like this, then I will for sure take a buy. So let me, let's imagine that we take a buy here. We take a buy here, then the stop loss is going to be below the recent low, which is at this level. And let me just measure the pips in between to the stop loss and make sure that this is not too tight. So this stop loss is going to be 13 pips of stop loss, which is decent. So I take the stop loss here. Let me delete this uh, Fibonacci. So yeah, with this uh, 13 pips of stop loss, I risk 2%. I calculate the lot sizing to, be, to make it 2% and expect the market go up continuously towards my direction. So that's the trading strategy here. And, but today's topic is about the break-even line. So once I set the set stop loss, I will show it to you uh, when I exactly move this stop loss to break even in this example. So let me forward the chart. Okay, so in this case, first of all, I expect the market go up this way. And not only that, I expect the market go bullish in the wave like this way. And I think this is where uh, traders get confused. Every time I talk about the uh, break-even strategy, um, you might think, okay, so the market breaks out this way and you set the break-even. And I don't, recommend you, I don't recommend you to set the break-even line yet because when you do this, then the market might go down and you might exit. You have to, you have to exit with the break-even. And you don't lose in this case, so technically it's okay. But if you keep trading this way, then you set you you can you will be having I mean, lots and lots of too too many break-even trades, which you don't want to. So the idea to set the break-even is when the market actually goes towards the direction, and not only that, make sure to confirm the bullish new wave afterwards. Make sure to confirm the bullish new wave, and then. After the break, after you confirm this bullish new wave, then that this will be when you set the break even line. Okay, so let me forward the chart and see if that, if that happens or not. So the market spikes up this way. Okay, now we're tracing backwards. We're tracing backwards, but still I don't set the break even yet. Okay, so here we see the bullish new wave. So we took a buy here. After taking a buy, we see this bullish new wave broke the previous high upwards in this five minute chart. And this is when you can move the stop the break even. Because logically speaking, the market is uptrending now. And not only that it spikes up this way continuously, but actually market marked the pushback this pushback is very important 
and also uh, the break of the previous high after the pushback is very important because this is a confirmation that the market is uptrending. In this wave analysis, the market is uptrending on this bullish new wave. And as we saw earlier, the daily chart is up and also one hour chart is also uptrending. So we can expect the market continuously go up this way in this five minute chart. And that's why logically speaking, it's important to set the break even line after you see the next pushback and the next bullish new wave. In this case, to set the break even. When you are selling the market, then it's going to be vice versa. But um, yeah, so too early stop loss, too early break even uh, will, will result too many break even trades. So make sure you confirm this end wave after you take a buy and set the break even. Then most likely the market goes towards the direction of this continuous end wave structure in this lower time frame. So I hope you liked today's lecture. So if you liked today's video, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day. So tomorrow is a Thursday. So every Thursdays I do the live stream. So tomorrow I will do some uh, market analysis by Ichimoku Kinkoihyo. It's the 24th of December tomorrow. So the live stream schedule actually changed. So now the public lives are actually taking place at 23 p.m. in Japan time, 11 p.m. in Japan time, which is at 2 p.m. in UTC, GMT time zone. So make sure you're, uh, you get the right time to uh, the correct time to join the tomorrow's live stream. So I will see you at the tomorrow's live stream. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Thank you everyone. Matane.